What's up guys my name is Shreyas and welcome back to my YouTube channel today we have Siddharth on the Wisdom Diet podcast Siddharth runs the YouTube channel Hypertrophy and I have been following his content for a long time since he started I actually knew Siddharth before uh, he started YouTube as well he used to run a blog or a website called Hypertrophy and then he started venturing into YouTube and today he is a successful online fitness coach as well as a YouTuber and we discuss a lot of things regarding his uh, life before youtube coming into youtube and uh, uh, the journey so far and the plans ahead as well so uh, l- without wasting any time let us jump straight into the episode and uh, thank you guys for the support and make sure you like the video and time stamps are also available you can also watch the video in 1.25 speed so that it goes faster than uh, you expected to so anyway thanks a lot uh, for the support so far and please do enjoy like comment subscribe check out siddharth's youtube channel links in the description and also his instagram do follow him show him some some love because uh, he's a good friend so thanks a lot for watching so how, how have you been bro uh, like since you came back it has been really good to see you posting content regularly yeah man like i was i was down in the uh, dumps i would say but uh, yeah like i don't know it just happened so that so happened that you know i one random night i just got some something happen in my head and i'm like fuck this shit i'm mm. i have to start uh, start again i mean I, I i was i was trying to start again and again and i think i even messaged you asking what type of content you know uh, works these days and yeah yeah um, yeah i remember that yeah so i was yeah. I, I was kind of uh, i would definitely say it all, it all started when i came to bangalore first of all uh where i burnt out basically like i was done bro like i don't know if you knew this but when i when was I, this this was uh, 2017 i think that time you were not into right, youtube right. or anything right so yeah i was not yeah yeah so that is when i came to bangalore with big plans and everything but hmm. i was hmm. just too burnt out man like uh, i i realized hmm. that and that is where as you know bangalore is a very fun city right so i just had a lot of fun and yeah then i moved back yeah. i realized that it was not good but yeah for me the main thing that happened was burnt burning out and uh, yeah i just it took me a while to uh, get back so yeah anyway uh, mm-hmm. uh, i appreciate that you're asking about me but definitely i want to make this about you so <laughs> Yeah, I would, sure. I I would already you know I I already have uh, made the intro for you nice intro where I uh praised oh. you praised you a lot. <laughs> so Oh my god, thank you so yeah, much bro. Yeah, this is yeah. my honor. <laughs> no no no, definitely you you, uh, you have you have uh, my respect <clears throat> bro because I remember we used to talk when in 2018 mm. and all that and 18 yeah 18 yeah and you 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 had it you had it in you and I knew that you no know, this this is even though i did not predict it exactly but i knew that you know if mm. you put the effort you had you had the right head on you you know some people they don't have the right head <laughs> you had you had the right head in you so yeah so thanks coming- a lot man i still but i talked to you on call one day and i asked you that bro i want to do this just like you are doing like you are my inspiration i want to start something of my own in fitness do you think i can do it and you said you can do it and like that sparked a possibility in me that day so that was important bro <laughs> yeah because i remember uh, i i think i was down in the same building i was downstairs i was talking to you i i think we spoke for 2 hours right if i'm not wrong we spoke for a, it was a very long call and you are yeah. like you are like telling me you know can i do it and all that but i i think i just told you this that you have it you know that the whole uh, mm. Uh, you know what to do you just have to do it you know that is the hmm. that is the whole thing lot of people they have it but they don't want to do it for some reason but they are coming to that pre yeah. youtube you know first topic that i want to talk about first of all welcome uh, on my show the the show is called uh, wisdom diet podcast basically what it oh, means okay. is we are trying to feed people wisdom you know so that is uh, hmm. the idea behind that and the reason i got you on this uh, uh show as one of the first uh, guests is this is the fifth episode so the reason mm. i'm i messaged you is because i have followed you when i was not on social media so i was not like a youtuber at that time so i was just not doing anything on social media right that is when you i was you were the og youtuber and then there was a phase when you were not on youtube yeah, for some time yeah, so yeah. that's a more accurate statement correct yeah <laughs> so that is when i was watching you i was noticing you and uh, 
द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट केम ऑन माई वॉल और माई यूट्यूब पेज वॉज दैट वीडियो आई कॉन्ट सी द वर्ल्ड बट द सी यू नो द सी डी सी वी आई डी यू नो दैट यू मेड अ वीडियो ऑन दैट आई डोंट नो इफ यू रिमेंबर ऑन वॉट ऑन सी वायरस यू नो ऑन आई कॉन्ट आई एम नॉट सपोज टू से द वर्ल्ड आई थिंक यू मेड अ वीडियो ऑन दैट राइट Yeah, of course, but yeah. why are you not saying the word? You are not supposed <laughs> to say it, dude, on YouTube. It kind of becomes something. Uh, so I've seen a lot of people not using the name of mm. the virus. So, uh, you know, so that that is uh, the first video that you know. I was like, this guy is going viral, right? I think that video went viral, mm-hmm. right? So that is that was uh, the first video which caught some fire. Yeah, it was like really exciting for me. Yeah, yeah. it it came on. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. it was everywhere. That video was uh, everywhere. It was mm-hmm. getting so that that is when I saw that. you are kind of you know getting uh, the the upward mm. rise so uh, before we yeah. get into your youtube journey your transformation and everything i want to know what you are before you came to youtube because i don't see that you are sharing mm. a lot of that on your personal channel right mm. so i don't know how much you want to share but i i would I, i'm very interested because even though i knew you before yeah. youtube i actually did not know much about your past and mm. what you are planning and all that right you suddenly just Just, just decided that you want to kind of start. So, what what was your uh, yeah. college like? You're an IIT graduate, right? So, yeah. tell me more about your college yes. life and everything. <laughs> I haven't thought about it in a long time, but I think I remember it. So, <clears throat> so I was in IIT BHU, yeah. and I was uh, in computer science branch. And um, why I was in computer science branch? because i got a good rank and i had no taste so i thought this branch gets you paid better so let's take computer science that mm. was the only rational mm. there was no interest or passion or nothing mm. so um i guess four years in college uh, were the most transforming for me because i went from this kid who who was all about academics and somewhere in college i lost the touch with um that side because in iit it's a like you only meet good people there but like at least in my college there were not good teachers and that matters because um in the absence of good teachers i didn't develop a love for computer science okay, so what sense. do you what do you mean when you say good teachers right because we are also a form of uh, teachers like yeah. i mean no yeah. we teach yeah. people so what do you right. mean by that <laughs> so good te- uh, some a teacher like uh, when i was preparing for iit je i had these teachers whom were god like to me they used to teach me physics chemistry and maths in resonance they were the hods and the way they taught everything uh, what became so personal like physics used to be personal to me because you know you develop emotion for the subject they teach it in a way it feels like play mm-hmm. and you look forward to the next class mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. it it not only sparks your curiosity it further um pokes the fire hmm. and so you know developing that sort of um, emotion for a subject that was lacking for me in iit because um but i m- i met great people so that was the most um a valuable thing which happened to me there so there some somewhere i was totally lost in iit like i knew how to study and get decent grades right but uh, i i was feeling lost and at a point like when i was totally lost i would um not say that like i was depressed but maybe i was i don't yeah, know yeah yeah i was very lost yeah right? you're not would, feeling good know. basically right yeah so at that point i used to watch like i i started i wanted to transform hmm. wanted to get into fitness i started watching your videos that time i think um i used to watch your videos news videos because he used to make sick content hmm. that was his prime radu's prime hmm. Hmm. yeah and uh, i think beer biceps was also doing some fitness content back yeah, then yeah 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 but yeah so i used to watch all this content then i started figuring it out how to do it then i transformed myself in college which sort of gave me a new light hmm. okay i can actually do something now because hmm. i was feeling lost and suddenly i found a new direction hmm. 
so okay, that so, was so very wait, important sorry now can you give me the timeline of this uh, what year was yeah. this this was bro i think um 20 2016 okay so this was before the real transformation the big transformation right yeah 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 okay yeah, okay yeah. go on go on go on yeah. continue <laughs> i i have not shared this one on youtube yet yeah okay continue yeah. continue so yeah so yeah so after that point i started gaining more and more interest in fitness and bodybuilding started developing that emotion for the subject mm. to penetrate it from all angles Mm. to uh, understand all the whys and ifs and mm. right all the corner mm. cases right and it had not happened to me in a long time after physics maths chemistry <laughs> okay so okay. It, yeah i was feeling alive again after Honest. a long time yeah right. so at that point i decided somewhere that you know what i used to watch your videos radu's videos and that guy um marayan his channel name was something else that time Okay. Student aesthetics. Okay, I think I I think I know. Yeah, who you're the guy from about. Netherlands. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah, I know yeah. who you're talking about. Yeah. So yeah, there were all, all of them. There were there are a lot of them, and a lot of them were actually when you look at it, they are doing different types of content, but their whole ideology was the same. You know, you know what I what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. They they the yeah, way yeah. they presented the content was different, but you got mm. the same vibes from everyone, right? You got the right. Uh, yeah, that that that's the thing about this OG. YouTubers, I feel. I mean, uh, I mm. won't include myself, but when I used to watch a lot of other people, right, like Omar Isaf, and mm. they all, they were doing yeah, dif- Omar, dif- mm. yeah, different stuff, but you felt like they are all the same person, you know. Mm. So that is where I feel uh, it's slightly different now, but definitely, you know, uh, and that's how the world is. Times have changed, but uh, you know, I try to remain as much as uh, that. But yeah, so you found uh, inspiration in those people. and uh, so yeah, that is yeah. where you know this fitness kida started yeah, in you yeah. right so yeah yeah that point i decided that i would love to have a life like this where i am you know talking about bodybuilding nutrition fitness mm. building my own physique and just living my life like that for the rest mm. of my life mm. i would really mm. like that life but at that point it was very hard for me to you know make the switch because i was in uh, i was just entering into fourth year Mm. and the next thing that i had to do was to get a good job because mm. i did with the brightest minds mm. everyone around me was gonna get like 50 lpa 60 lpa 40 lpa so there is that and i was not from a very well to do family mm. my family is very humble mm. so there was a responsibility on my head that i have to get a good job you know mm. first of all i have to get a good job correct so i prepared for it and uh, what i did was i intentionally searched for such a company where i could get a decent package hmm. and i can get time for myself to build my physique and build my side business hmm. and at one point i should be able to switch fully to my real thing so understood. that was the plan in my head the game plan yeah understood so yeah so there was this company um samsung hmm. right okay so i heard that there is a little so, change environment there yeah <laughs> okay right. so i prepared so i have this all in mentality always in me when Same. i hmm. yeah um i have decided that i want to prepare for this i sort of burn ba- burn all the other bridges so i didn't prepare for any other company i literally left all other books hmm. i just figured out what do they want to hear for this particular role in samsung hmm. what kind of profile they want and hmm. i started building only that hmm hmm So even when I was giving IIT, I didn't give any other exam. People were giving for VIT, this mm. and that, but I gave only for IIT. And sort of I was scared that you know what, if it didn't happen, then my grade will be bad. But thankfully, it went well and everything mm. went well. But that has always been with me. So I just prepared for Samsung. Mm. If that didn't happen, I didn't know what to do. But Got Samsung it. happened, so I went to Samsung Research. Okay. Came to Bangalore. And uh, then my Bangalore life started. Came to Samsung Research first. for the first time in my life money started flowing in mm. as salary mm. right and it was good salary like i was happy mm. were you also happy so, with the work you are doing at that time or is it it was just more of uh, like kind of settling down was it what, what was the what was the reason like when you said you want i know that you as you said that you know your family thing and all that but mm. was it just that or was it also that you were kind of enjoying what you are doing over at uh, Samsung so i sort of 
uh, the day I felt that you know what I have to build this life um, where I am uh, talking about fitness, I am helping people with their fitness goals. Hmm. That was the moment I sort of detached myself emotionally from computer science, like because the connection never happened, and I sort of moved on at that point only. So hmm. I it was one of those things that I can use my mind to write code. I can use my mind to solve these logical problems mm. that it'll get me paid. I don't hate it. Mm. Okay. Um, it's fun at times, but, um, this is not, um, uh, this is not where I want to go. This is not where my full potential Got that it. was in my head. Got so, <clears throat> um, what was I saying? So it was not your, uh, complete, that, that is not your purpose basically. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, yeah, that that feeling was there. Hmm. And so yeah, the Bangalore life started and then slow, first of all I I was like not very sure about starting fitness thing right away because hmm. I was a little fat that time because hmm. I had a sh- clavicle fracture. Hmm. For hmm. one year I couldn't lift weights and hmm. at that time I also put on some fat. Hmm. Um and when the fracture healed I didn't want to cut because I was very weak. Hmm. I was weak hmm. and fat. Hmm. So I thought, you know what, I'll just bulk from here and let it be. Uh, so from there on, I started putting strength. Mm. So by the end of that bulk, I was very fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, I could see how, like what to do, where to go from here. So mm. it was never a question that inside I was always <laughs> in my head. I was always, uh, like it, I never felt like, um, identifying myself with body fat. It was like, I mm. have body fat and mm. I lose it mm. inside. Right. I am the same guy. Understood. Yeah. Understood. So, but at that time, I was not confident to start fitness right away. I thought first I need to get lean and all that. So I I started trying my hands out in different businesses because I wanted to build some sort of business. Hmm. So I got distracted. I was sometime I was trying some smoothies recipes to build <laughs> a smoothie shop, hmm. and this and that. But then yeah, then uh, I talked to you and it gave me a lot of clarity. I thought you know what, no matter when I start, whenever I'll start. it is a lot of grind anyway like it. it it is years of grind without getting any traction so i might as well not wait for the perfect moment start as it is right now so i started when i was fat hmm. and slowly slowly people started uh, lacking the content and so it was grind as expected and when i caught some traction some online coaching started to then i started giving online coaching by the time i was lean also hmm. so i started coaching when i was lean hmm. um i got a few clients enough to make half of the money which my salary was giving hmm. me hmm. so at that point and also in samsung also i was just doing the bare minimum to get hmm. myself off the hook hmm. and the rest of the time i was focusing on content even in samsung i'll take hmm. my rough copy go to mess or canteen hmm. i'll take a coffee i'll sit there i'll just you know what is the next video what is the next post how to put it more creatively and all that hmm. and um so yeah so at the one point came where i realized you know what now i cannot keep one feet in samsung and one feet on hypertrophy i correct. have to put both feet there otherwise nothing will go anywhere correct so then i made the decision that now i am leaving job and uh so but i was very grateful to samsung they were like like even when i was leaving samsung the last day i tell, told them that you know what i might not remember anything that happened here any code that i wrote what programs we made um but i'll never forget how kind you all were to me matlab mm. that i'll never forget so the people were extremely nice and extremely supportive because often i'll take their help to do my job mm. and they'll happily help me because mm. my mind was somewhere else my soul was somewhere else mm. and i had to get the job done also so yeah so then i left my job in 2020 march mm. i joined my job in 2017 in june i left it in 2020 march this was my time period at samsung mm. then hypertrophy i started in 2018 september mm. you started off with a blog right website right yeah 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 so, i used to write articles on yeah. hypertrophy.com yeah so uh, yeah, i remember that as well and also like uh, i think the physique thing right that definitely you know like that it used to be like that where everyone who comes online and gives advice had to look a certain way right we all have that uh, yeah. physique but i think you know when you started out i think things were changing slowly people were understanding mm. that uh, 
just having a physique is not mm. the right indicator of uh, what that person can offer you right because if you see mm. the type of content provided online i'm i'm of course you have a decent physique i have a decent physique but yeah. what i'm saying is we don't have the so called uh, fitness industry standard wala physique right but uh, mm, not yet see, <laughs> yeah not yet right so if you <laughs> see the see the uh, type of content that is being provided by him it is it is going to help more people a larger a larger section of the audience than any mm. other type of content because at the end of the day to build your body you need to know what to do as well you can't just see someone building a great physique and just looking at that and your physique won't just happen you need to also know what is uh, what goes into building a good physique so anyway yeah. uh, now that yeah. you quit Definitely. your job what did your parents think i mean how were they like uh, uh, a <laughs> little bit uh, skeptical or were they very supportive and what was how was that i asked this i asked this question to everyone whoever comes on the show ha huh. so i'm a big believer in the fact that you know what i can handle things and i don't want to give my parents any extra stress hmm. because without me giving them any extra stress they already take a lot of stress right Correct. Correct. so i definitely don't want to give any explicit stress hmm. so my mom was always supportive like she believed in me that if i'm doing it it would be the right thing hmm. of course she was very concerned even when she came to bangalore she will uh, behind my back she'll go to my friends and she'll ask beta जो कर रहा है सही कर रहा है ना क्या कर रहा है इसमें हो जाता है क्या वगैरह वगैरह माय फ्रेंड्स वुड कन्विंस हर आंटी आप टेंशन ही मत करो ये कर लेगा जो कर रहा है कर लेगा आई यूज टू से मम्मी डो आप चिंता मत करो कभी आप आप सब हैंडल हो जाएगा आप चिंता मत करो माय फादर इज आल्सो वेरी कंसर्न एंड आई डोंट वांट टू गिव हिम मोर कंसर्न्स सो आई to the till date i have not explicitly told my father that i have left my job oh is it <laughs> i'm not you better hope that he doesn't watch this uh, he will probably not okay. this is very far <laughs> far okay so your parents are not like yeah. uh, they don't watch your stuff and all that they watch my channel yeah they do usually they do not miss a video my mother will watch every video five six every times every video correct <laughs> same yeah. same so <laughs> my mom has no idea what is being said in my video uh, because it's more, more most of it is in english but uh, i i just told her if you watch and you don't understand at least just let the video flow so that the watch time you know goes up i just told her that and she just watches yeah. it without knowing she she's more worried about the pillow in the background and uh, what's not looking good and all that so <laughs> yeah so definitely you know like uh, uh, it's good 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 uh, that's what i meant when i my said my mom once said me that uh, like she's she used to watch my video and I, i like recently last year only she told me like i was talking about creatine and talking everything about creatine right and then she says that beta tu bahut hard baatein karta hai Mm-hmm. and like there is this jeet salal video which came up in which he was talking about fiber and mm. he uh, just sliced the khira mm. he said khira khana chahiye khira acha hai pani peena chahiye mummy so my mother was like aisi baatein karni chahiye jo mm. hum aunties ko bhi samajh mein aaye mm. aur sabko mm. samajh mein aaye so i was actually like you know what it makes sense i am mm. making these video super detailed about why when mp muscle protein synthesis will get optimized when is this that but actually there's a point of you know making uh simpler content very mm. simple what might be obvious to us might be valuable to other people correct 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 right? correct definitely so that yeah. but i don't think still i have been able to hold true to that i mean hard content yeah. even now i'm not yeah. getting yeah that 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 definitely is a is a tricky part as well you know because that should i i also believe it there should be a balance you need to teach people mm. about why you are saying certain things right now now you yeah. can't explain Uh, why creatine is good without explaining the whole process of how it works right you can't just mm. you know that is that is where i feel it's a tricky uh, situation because we all know creatine is good right ha ah, but everyone knows yeah. that but why is creatine good to make that make people mm. understand that are they actually interested in knowing why creatine is good you know that is mm. uh, that is a big uh, uh, dilemma for me as well but i i have more i have stuck to my thing where i just try to 
uh, try to make it understand understandable for people who are into fitness mm. i don't want yeah. my mom to understand like i don't care if my mom understands or not right mm-hmm. so i just want to you know kind of reach out to people for whom it actually can uh, be useful right so mm. i definitely understand what your mom meant and what you felt mm. by that ki you know everyone should be able to understand right but some yeah. concepts it is i feel you know and you being an iit mm. graduate and all that for you it is even mm. more important to explain it the you know the right way right so yeah i watched yeah, your videos there is that i watched your videos and I, and this is what i meant when i said you have a good head on your shoulders that that you know you care about you know not giving stress to uh, your parents and all that so when i came into this uh, again i i am privileged in that mm. way that i did not have to worry about uh, you know that my parents will suffer if i don't uh, graduate and all that so i'm i'm telling mm. openly guys I'm, i was very lucky in that way that that i you know i had to only worry about me so my my mind was like i don't mm. care what they think about me i'm just going to do it right so in that way yeah. you know you 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 are very uh, well thought and uh, i i respect that and it clearly shows uh, in your content now we'll get to the main th- main part all right guys uh, we had a technical glitch uh, a couple of mm. times so we are going to uh, uh, talk about his transformation i'll display his video on the screen but uh, uh, tell me you know how how did you decide one day that you want to start completely you know changing yeah. your physique and get to a photo shoot level of uh, uh, physique so run me run, run us through that so the, there was never a doubt about that like once you are into fitness and committed you know that you are into this for the rest of your life right so i knew that i had some excess body fat and i also knew that you know uh, when i started uh, the time i got lean in college i was around 52 kgs 51 kgs so i was very lean like i had six pack and you know all that but uh, my height is 57 mm. so f- for 57 i was 52 very lean mm. um so i went there from 65 so i had, i realized that you know what i i have to build the rest of the main money has to be made in building muscle mm. So then my clavicle got fractured and then I reached 79. I was hoping mm. that, you know, I must have harvested at least eight kgs of muscle in these 1.5 years, mm. but that was too optimistic of me. Mm. So mm. when I <laughs> cut back, I landed around 58, 59, mm. but even that was encouraging that, you know what? I harvested around six, seven kgs of muscle, um, in this whole story, mm. whatever happened. So it was always that when, even when I had body fat, I knew that, you know what? I had to cut back and see what I actually harvested. Um, and even that I know, even after that, there is a long journey, even right now, there's a long journey ahead of me. So it's always, what's the next stop. And so I, I cut back the fat and then at some point it struck me that, you know what, uh, I'm getting lean anyway, might as well invest some money in photo shoot and I can use the photos for thumbnails and social media. Hmm. So then I got a photo shoot also done. Yeah. Hmm. So you, you took how six, six months, six months it took, right? Six months I took for getting very decently lean, but another mm. two months, even in that transformation video, in the end, I put, it actually took me eight months, but that's not the point. I did okay. write that in the video. Yeah. yeah so you took me also eight months. put uh, dangal ka, you know, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, transformation. So what Dumbled was that, dance. that, yeah. that all about? Like, like, uh, did you, did you yeah. take that as an inspiration to make your own, you know, transformation video or was it just like a reference that, you know, more like a reference um it was more like a reference like i just wanted because people i know that people relate to that and i want to you know connect dots in the mind of people hmm. so that's why i used it because i knew that dot already exists in their mind and this is a new dot that i am bringing to the picture hmm. so if i connect them they'll be able to understand what i'm trying to say so okay. that's why i use dangal because usually <clears throat> bollywood transformations they um, get so much limelight that, oh mm. my God, how did he do it? Mm. And people mm. are like, just, you know, um, totally shocked to see it. They, they feel that these Bollywood guys are people with special, um, powers or with Correct. special genes. Yeah, yeah. They are like, they put them on pedestal. Mm. So I just wanted to normalize that, that, you know what, everyone is a human. Everyone can do it. If you just follow scientific principles and mm. yeah, human body will react the same way everywhere. 
yeah, yeah. so so your physique right there, there there are a lot of people i can say thousands and thousands <laughs> of people i mean i'm pretty sure uh, you get this question a lot as well when you know you are uh, at a stage where you don't have like huge amount of muscle but you don't have mm. huge amount of fat as well uh, you, yeah, you like yeah. that you like you like your uh, diet pepsi right this is the second one that you are uh, <laughs> drinking yeah. so yeah you guys but, can uh, see there is nothing yeah, yeah of course there's nothing wrong two is right? the maximum usually i do not cross two in a day yeah yeah that, that that's there's nothing wrong in uh, drinking uh, diet coke uh, if uh, you know that you're worried about that so he had a, yeah. a coke first and now it's pepsi right yeah yeah big basket on big basket usually this is coming in 30 bucks instead of 40 so i ordered oh. 12 Oh nice nice nice. I haven't yeah. uh, had uh, any kind of uh, soda or anything like that for 2 months. My that is my own personal belief because mm-hmm. I believe that something when I drink that it kind of makes mm-hmm. me want to eat you know like uh, right. other things. So that's a different topic but yeah like like uh, did you did you uh, make did you plan this transformation mm. to kind of kind of uh, put your mark or like like how how do I tell you, uh, explain like it's like a launch pad for you did you did you ma- mm. do the transformation to you know in a way where the way, way you made the video right it was kind of a mm-hmm. well documented and was the intention mm-hmm. to kind of use that as a launch pad for you to get into this whole fitness scene or was it just a, a by product of your transformation mm-hmm. so like i actually did not expect that that video will do so well so but i always had that you know that i'll create my transformation video once i am lean enough mm. but i wouldn't um, say launch pad because before this transformation video i had been doing youtube already for 14 months okay four to six videos every month so i was mm. grinding already on youtube mm. yes i was not getting a lot of traction the corona video came around six months before the transformation video mm. So yeah, this video is going to get demonetized now. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I I can beep it out. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so you 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 okay, already no, was no. were getting <laughs> you know like uh, uh, you're doing pretty good. This this was just like an icing on the cake, right? Yeah, no, I would say that this actually uh, got me a lot of traction. the transformation video because that corona video <laughs> <laughs> it's okay it's okay it's okay i, I don't think it's going to be uh, oh, huge uh, it's it's uh, going to be i don't know why it is but i've seen lot of youtubers that i watch even in the podcast that i watch they don't say they say the c virus even greg duset he <laughs> says the c virus you know so he says the c word you know he says c word it's so, like you know, it's like voldemort <laughs> yeah you know you never know you know what this uh, youtube might do but yeah go on go on just continue Yeah so even that video got super viral but <laughs> it actually did not give me any um, subscribers who would stick with the content so my uh, subscriber count went from 2000 it took me around uh, 11 months of continuous content creation the whole youtube grind to get mm. to 2000 subscribers 2000 2000 2000 wow. 11 months mm. yeah and then i left my job so when i left my job i had 2000 subscribers wow where it is scared yeah, then <laughs> i had faith you know that okay uh, nice yeah. nice nice so and then i was actually not very aware about this virus so much but my friends and all like they were in different countries um they told me that you know what this is about to happen this is exponential curve mm, mm. lockdown is going to happen in 20 days no one is talking about this in india no one was talking about that in india correct, it was like correct. 4th 5th march 2020 mm. people mm. were just chilling no mm. one was no one knew anything so i made the whole video breaking it down that you know what right now it's 80 cases this will rise so stay at mm. your home this is going to mm. explode i'm telling you right now this mm. is the curve this is what will mm. happen and then that video caught fire because people actually understood that even mm. housewives people mm. who do not understand math they understood the video the exponential mm. curve mm. so the video caught fire people are showing it on tv news channels mm. sharing it on whatsapp group my own friends are saying that you know what in our family group your video is coming mm. and this mm. 2000 subscribers so channel went from 2000 to 11000 in around 4 days mm. it was like a big spike for me mm. but those new 9000 people they were like even after that when i released fitness videos those views did not come into those new videos fitness understood, videos understood so the views were always the same 
in 2000 also and 11000 also the views mm. did not change in the other mm. videos mm. so till the time uh, um 5 months later when i released my transformation video that video caught fire and that got me this fit, these fitness folks who mm. then stuck with my content mm. and then i then i made a whole tr- fat loss series in which i was explaining how to create your diet and mm. everything about fat loss mm. like mm. people literally they, i received so many messages from guys that they watched fat loss series they transformed they were very happy mm. so that series actually helped many people they shared it with their friends which got mm. me these subscribers who st- so yeah so that that transformation video was the one which actually sparked the real growth for channel i would understand i'm pretty sure your business also started uh, going up because people saw that you know you were capable of uh, yeah yeah you know uh, going through a transformation like that and the main thing that for me that caught my eyes is your physique is actually relatable with a lot of people you know like mm. uh, like a lo- lot of people that you see in the gym right they kind of are stuck that is why i mainly wanted to talk ab- talk about your transformation because a lot of the guys in the gym right they kind of where at your are at your starting point like how in your beginning of your transformation right so they are kind of yeah. confused like how to go about it because of course they are worried mm-hmm. that you know do i have enough muscle to you know look like you know like muscular at the end of it or like you said mm-hmm. for some people it might be they'll go cut all the way they'll end up at 52 yeah. and they'll not have anything right only abs mm-hmm. right so that the, the whole mm-hmm. quote of uh, skinny men with abs is like uh, mm-hmm. fat women with uh, you know uh, whatever mm-hmm. right so that yeah. that, that, that is it. so how did you what, what, so if you have advice to give for people who are uh, not like how you are little bit you had more fat than a normal uh, uh, skinny fat guy but if people are skinny fat like what kind of training protocol and what kind of nutrition would you recommend them to do and also how long you know it actually takes a lot of time right for you yeah you had muscle like it's it's a different hmm. scale but for people who don't have that much of muscle but have a little bit of fat one is to one ratio right what what are they supposed to do right like well, what kind of hmm. training do they have to do more cardio do they or did you do more cardio i wanted to ask that as well so how was your mm-hmm. cut basically how was your journey to uh from fat or a little bit fat to shredded you know how was it like yeah yeah um i was never a big, never big on cardio max i'll go on long walks walking was always my stable form of cardio i never did treadmill never did anything just walking and apart from that i was training 5 days a week on busy weeks i'll train 4 days otherwise i'll train 5 days so just weight training keeping the deficit keeping making sure that there is good fat intake protein intake is met um we have the fish oil vitamin mm. d basic supplements and apart from that only i used to walk in the night even now i walk a lot um usually in the night i'll just go for 1 to 1.5 hours of walk i'll reply to my clients when i'm walking i'll listen to podcast talk to my mom i'll use that time for mm. work and calls mm. and all that mm. Mm. so i like that time so it has been a habit walking was the only cardio which i did yeah so how much uh, so you, you said your peak weight was what 79 79 right? 79 and yeah. you ended up at 259 59 so you lost 20 kg in let's say yeah 7 to 8 months 8 months yeah 8 yeah, months right yeah. yeah so 20 kg in 8 months is like uh, how much per month <laughs> uh 2 kg no not 2 kg sorry 4 kg or yeah 2.5 kg something yeah something yeah. right so yeah. 2.5 kg is per month approximately it's, it it took hmm. a, you know it takes a long time and the only yeah, reason definitely. he ended up with that kind of a physique after his uh, cut is because hmm. he did it slow right if he cut yeah. that in 4 months he would have of course ended up with the same physique in terms of the body fat but he wouldn't yeah. have had the uh, muscles to show you know so definitely. it was a very well executed uh uh mm-hmm. transformation so you are eating chicken that time or were you like a vegetarian uh, like no, 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 chicken uh, chicken i have been eating chicken since college college right so yeah so yeah. you you probably were eating 150 plus grams of protein right during milk i was around 150 grams then as i okay. cut down i came from 150 to 140 to 130 mm. and even in the end i was around 120 to 130 mm. yeah so basically yeah. you are still consuming almost like 2 grams per kg right Yeah, 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 definitely. 
take your time you know if you have a Definitely. have to reach your goal on a certain date and you think it is possible mm. in 3 months it is not you know add two more months to that so that you know you are well ready before that event lot of people have weddings Definitely. and uh, graduation and this and that and they come to me or come probably come to you as well like and tell you i want to do this much in this much time right and it's it's not mm. uh, the right way to go so transformations yeah. are possible you can also do the type of transformation that he did it's just that he was consistent as fuck and he just uh, knew the right things to do training four to five times a week which is more than enough you don't need to go to the gym every single day and uh, he was also walking which uh, of course increases yeah. uh, your uh, total caloric expenditure so adding mm-hmm. all that calorie deficit there is nothing special not no secret it is uh, just sticking Definitely. to a plan for long enough yeah. time you know that is uh, and i think the um, that mindset of trying to do it in less time or three months or four months that setting that arbitrary time timeline for yourself i think um, the only thing uh, that's lacking there is perspective like people just need to realize that you know what you are about to start something this is not a small phase that you will reach glory in th- life is set you are literally setting the foundation for the rest of your life of fitness mm-hmm. this is just mm-hmm. the start mm-hmm. right so take your time and be aware that you are going to do this training and nutrition thing for the rest of your life mm-hmm. so what you are going to do from here your actions they are not going to change from now Correct. your body will change everything will change everything will align itself in time the outputs will take care of itself but it's not like after 3 months your actions will change or your lifestyle will change so you are committing Correct. to a lifestyle now forget about the time hmm. right focus on the process things if it not if it will not take 5 months it will take 6 months it will take 7 months but you are in it for the rest of your life anyway right so what does Correct. what difference does it make correct i I, yeah. i tell people this all the time don't use uh, gym and uh, dieting and all that as a casual relationship you know where you just have yeah. fun for some time and just you know leave it mm-hmm. that's what a lot of lot of uh, i'm pretty sure your friends also do that my friends do this a lot my relatives all of them they every time they come here they're like i want to do right casual relationships this. no 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 <laughs> i'm talking <laughs> about uh, they come to me they ask me you know like i have i have developed uh, a tummy mm-hmm. you know tell me something to reduce and all that right and right i i tell them the same thing every time i told you last time i told you Uh, before that mm. as well what to do you haven't even tried it and even if you try yeah. you try it for a week and then you stop you'll give excuses this and that and that so i i i i completely i'm against this whole idea of uh, uh, doing a transformation and then like you know reach their goal and mm. they're satisfied and then they just don't care that's yeah, why i give yeah, the yeah. whole uh, anecdote of uh, or the example of uh, casual relationship just have yeah, fun yeah. enjoy and get the mm-hmm. uh, what do you call pleasure and just just leave right so that is uh, another thing now uh, we have discussed a lot of things uh, now with social media right again i wanted to ask this because i of course mm-hmm. i notice i keep watching a lot of people their actions uh, i i can also learn from them right so you you don't seem to be someone who is very uh active unless you know you have to post something mm. and you just you know disappear you only come when you have to post something so is it like a yeah. tactical decision or is it just that you social media is something that you only you know want to kind of consume only limited you know in a limited manner uh i wouldn't say that i am very disciplined with social media because it i do find myself wasting time on social media very often so but I, i i it's not a tactical decision at all i know i have to improve my social media game a lot right now there is so many things i need to incorporate better strategies better content strategies posting more often so i am la- actually lacking in that area because i end up getting busy with my clients then uh, the second priority is youtube so and then the third comes social media hmm. I, i do not have good systems i think i definitely it's not tactical i am i have a lot to improve in that area 
Okay. okay, so my thought process was that you know, like uh, he comes. I only see your post like twice a week. I think right, twice or thrice a week. Mm-hmm. You just uh, post a story yeah. and uh, not a story. You post like a tweet kind of a thing, and then you post yeah. uh, a video, right? Like a reel per one once a week mm-hmm. or twice a week. So mm-hmm. I was I was just wondering, you know, whether it is uh, tactical because I feel showing yourself too much is also not good. as a fitness uh, you know professional mm-hmm. i've learned that the hard way i used to be so active back in the day and i feel that some things mm-hmm. you know you don't have you don't have to make content on you know just just uh, mm-hmm. give them enough information and uh, but but yeah definitely i i i was in the uh, thing that you know i was thinking because you started your coaching business you want to keep yeah. things limited you know not uh, uh, because what happens usually with fitness people is they come out with when they start they start out start off by giving mm. lot of information you know to make videos on everything but as they grow and grow, grow more and more the the mm. the what do you call the intention of providing content becomes lesser and lesser you know they more become mm. become salesmen you know they they more become more of mm. a, a buy my this buy my that you know like that yeah. with you it was definitely yeah. not like that with you you still post mm. content i just thought that you were you know yeah. kind of uh, not putting so much information just because you know you want to uh, you know stay away from the whole social media what do you call the the, the you know mm. what do you call do, uh, over 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 posting right. on social media i think i'm just trying to figure out like right now i'm trying to figure out how to go from here to the next level on youtube because i have sort of hit a plateau on youtube in plateau. the last 8 to 9 months so to unlock the next level what should i do so i'm trying to post uh decently regularly on youtube at least um i've uh, so yeah right now that has been the challenge because i see these guys dhruv rathi um mm-hmm. they post consistent high quality content of course dhruv rathi has a whole team research team dhruv rathi is uh, yeah i know, okay the poli- you yeah, know he talks about yeah, politics and all that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i got right. confused between him and uh, Sandeep Maheshwari, I got kind of confused okay. there. Like, yeah, but even he also has a team, right? Even he also has a yeah. team. All of these guys have big, big, big teams. Even Beer Biceps, right? If you see Beer Biceps, I yeah. remember yeah. when uh, I met him in 2015. He told me that he had a camera man with him. Okay, he used to pay mm-hmm. him a small amount, you know, just a very small amount per video. Okay, so he took. They both, you know, kind of went on that journey, and now he has mm-hmm. like a. huge team so youtube mm. uh, do you do you feel like uh, maybe starting like a series where uh, you are focusing on building muscle you know that might mm. uh, be beneficial for you do you think that uh, that can help you because i i would definitely love yeah. to watch that because everybody is uploading a fat loss series right nobody is yeah. uh, uh, showing how to build muscle everybody yeah. can show you know shows how to get ripped but nobody shows mm. how to get big you know so yeah. i think you know something vlogging is the next thing bro like people are genuinely tired of i think watching you know just standing in front of the camera and you know hmm. uh, you know I, i this is my feeling so i'm going i'm i'm starting my hindi channel now next uh, this next week or something because i've seen that okay. english is not working bro like i need to get into the hmm. hindi game as well because that is where uh, most of the audience is right so i, I think how comfortable are you with hindi I'm I'm pretty comfortable. I've I've learned Hindi. I know to write. I need to speak. I I, I know to speak. Uh, I awesome. I can speak uh, pretty well. And people I've noticed that I've started another channel with those two, with two guys. Okay, with uh, Satik mm. Pandey and another guy. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. now just yeah. saying. So what I've noticed yeah, is people sure. find my Hindi very uh, uh, nice to hear because it's coming from a South mm. Indian you no know, accent, mm. right? So yeah, that is. But you feel like you have hit a plateau, right? So that uh, come that yeah. that is what I wanted to talk about next is. you know what what do you want like what is your uh, if you don't want to share it you don't have to share it but what currently you are doing coaching you are mainly that is your uh, main you know thing right now right yeah. you are focusing yeah. on that so uh, i can understand that you know that coaching can be hectic sometimes but mm. what is your like end game like what do you want to be become in this uh, industry or are you just like main apne kaam pe kaam you know rakhta hu and i'll do my own thing or do you want to like have goals of like uh, what do you call making something big or are like just like mm. i'll just continue coaching and all that i guess uh, it's i'm still figuring it out definitely coaching is something i do want to keep improving upon keep becoming a better coach with time in my coaching systems 
so that's not going anywhere mm. um off late i have been feeling like you know what there is only 24 hours in a day and i am just one person and mm. business is just one part of life mm. so i've tr- i've been giving attention to the other facets of life and the time is limited i do want to definitely i am very ambitious on the business side of things um how exactly will it pan out i'm not very clear about the vision i do know that i want to keep creating content that you know um sparks that love for fitness and bodybuilding in more hearts hmm. people like me who found the direction hmm. like i found the direction i want people to hmm. you know more people to convert to hmm. this kind of lifestyle because it is an enriching lifestyle correct 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 right so i'll keep creating content definitely definitely want to keep growing on the content side hmm. um i do not see myself stopping content anytime soon good, i might good. need to change my strategy how i express myself that i need to figure out with time coaching i'll definitely expand um trying to expand trying to do new things on the coaching side of things hmm. so yeah and there is just a lot lot of things i do want to um write more articles trying to build a youtube team we have two um people now i'm working with two people on the youtube side yeah i think i saw yeah. one of your uh, editors podcast with some uh, one nitya the i think uh, yeah varnit varnit and aniket anik yeah mm-hmm. i think i saw their podcast so yeah that's that's when i you yeah definitely bro like i, I completely feel you mm-hmm. like i was very inactive for two years even though i was still doing my coaching and everything but now when i start doing all these things right i feel like like the day goes by you know very fast okay and i don't have uh, the time to really? do ev- it, it fe- genuinely feels like that bro like even i am th- i was thinking of you know setting up a team uh, for content and all that i mm. hired after 10 years of making no 9 years of making youtube i finally hired a guy to make graphics for me so that that's mm. i think you know the first step now i don't have to worry about yeah. thumbnails and it's showing effect as well like the click mm. through rate is more people are clicking on my videos more because of the mm. way the thumbnail Makes looks a difference. So, yeah. yeah so all this i i was all about oh, i'm i was a very old school guy post content mm. leave it there that's all i cared mm. about you know but now yeah. i realize that you know to kind of make it uh, mm. up there Package it just, well, yeah. yeah you need to make videos add more jump cuts engagement mm. has to increase in the videos and all that mm. so I, i i just realized that and uh, that is why i re- you know i came back with a right intention of i'm not going to change the way i am just for the sake of uh, uh, gaining uh, yeah. uh, numbers or whatever but i will mm. have to change with times you know youtube has become a yeah. platform where right. you know where just giving good content is not enough you need to make people reach that good content right mm. uh, i mean uh, ha- uh, have access to that good content so that and of yeah, course yeah. my own uh, health bro like i i i, mm. I think you know like how you did with your mm. uh, transformation and that kind of changed you uh, my career also you know changed my my uh, youtube became my career when my i uploaded my transformation video as well right in 2014 mm. so after mm. that everything changed so i'm focusing on that side now i want to transform myself again people mm. are telling me uh, do this do that no i'm not going to do any series right now i'm mm. uh, bro i have i was like i said in the beginning i was in such bad phase where i could not do anything now i am in a phase where i am able to do things and this whole thing is kind of i i can't do it alone anymore right so this coaching thing i want to keep it to myself right now because i can't mm. it's hard for me to trust anyone else okay yeah. but uh, so that is one thing that i want to do it alone but so you also do it alone right right now i am alone i do want to scale it but i am figuring out how to scale it while not compromising on the quality that That's is what i'm scared which, of yeah. yeah because in this fitness mm. thing people have their own ideologies and yeah. uh, you know so that in that way i'm scared but this content definitely bro like i think you should uh, you have like i said again you 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 have to do it now you have what 1.8 yeah 180000 mm. subscribers right so mm. you know i think you are at that stage where and i think you know I, i don't want to talk about money and all that but i'm definitely you make decent income from youtube right like Uh, where you can maybe scale out or uh, 
uh, start a small team is it is it uh, that good or because people might be thinking right this guy gets millions of views you know no no, no. i that. can tell my youtube income i have no problem <laughs> Yeah, no, you don't have to tell it as a number because it can go against yeah. YouTube. But uh, okay. what I what I wanted to know is, does it, uh, you know, so it's not that much. I know for sure. Definitely, it's, not that it's like definite. Two times almost my rent. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, <laughs> if that 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 much, see, I can tell my income. I can buy a BCA. Okay, from from my uh, YouTube income, and that's BC- because of BCA. Course, BCA. Like B- supplement, yeah, supplement, yeah. Okay. That's okay. that's how much I make because mm. at least fifty videos of mine from the past are demonetized. Few mm. of them don't even have ads on them. So basically, okay, that's why, bro. Yeah, I think me. that inactivity period must have. Uh, yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. definitely. That that yeah. now it's of course going up, but there used to be a time when I used to make mm. so much money, and that time YouTube used to pay good money as well. Yeah. So now they, mm. I don't know what has happened to them, but they don't uh, uh, do the same even for like uh, bigger creators. So, uh, you you should definitely uh, like if as a as a viewer, right? If mm-hmm. you know yeah. if you're asking for feedback, I would definitely yeah, suggest yeah. you start a. uh muscle gain series you know like uh, definitely uh, definitely s- yeah because now you are in the right body fat percentage you need to mm. you know kind of planning to put on muscle right so just yeah, focus yeah. on uh, that because this this uh, information there's so much information bro everywhere mm. fitness there's so much information and i want to see how you gain muscle right mm. because let's be honest building i don't know what you think of, about this but i believe building muscle is harder okay absolutely so yeah right so that series right will you people will be able to grow with you like like a lot mm. of people tell me that uh, i grew from a teenager to an adult watching your videos right so similarly mm. for people their fitness journey right if they are at your similar physique they can also you know focus on something where you know they, they follow your weekly progress and they you know kind of mm. relate to that so i believe mm. you know my suggestion would be uh, that because vlogs are becoming the thing now you know everyone wants to do you to... think uh, like do you think i should or you should or both of us should start a separate vlog channel apart from this main channel because right now i just post vlogs on my hypertrophy channel i do not have a separate vlog channel yeah what so what what i feel is see bro the thing it all depends on your how you have developed your channel now with my channel right Mm. I have shared everything my biggest ups my downs mm. my mm. Uh, personal life my girlfriend everything friends mm. uh, and fitness information as well okay mm. so people mm. who are on my channel they are probably you know they'll accept if i vlog now i'll be going uh, to madikeri kurg and uh, mm. wayanad in the, this this weekend mm. so of course i'll vlog okay i'll vlog and i'll All post it them. on my sorry all of them in one go So first we'll go to Kurg. Okay, we'll stay mm. there for a couple of days. Then we'll go to uh, why not on the, on a road trip, you know, uh, with, okay, the, with the family. Okay. So I will oh, be vlogging right. that. Okay, yeah, and I will yeah, post awesome. it on my channel, right? Yeah. Thing is, peop. I have given this to people in the past. Hmm. You understood what I'm saying. So now, what your problem might be is now if you, I know that you post, uh, you posted a vlog yesterday, right? It got decent yeah. views uh, as well. But what yeah, I am yeah. thinking is. I am definitely sure that you are not satisfied with the the number of views you are getting on the mm. content compared to the number of subscribers you have, right? Yeah, definitely. Right. So what I, my fear is, like you posted this uh, fitness coach chilling uh, and all that. What I suggest is you should kind of not start a new channel. You should make mm. show your whole, you know, mm. package mm. in this. You 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 are more of you are not like a pakka. hardcore fitness guy bro you are you also have a mm. life you know like you know I, uh, i i i am like that i want to show people that i'm not just like gym 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 you know i want to show right. what my personality my beliefs yeah. and what i learn and all those things right so mm. i believe that you know you you can become more than just a mm. fitness guy you know like mm. uh, just a fitness guy but yeah starting a different channel is uh, i am starting a different channel for a simple fact that my channel is 80% shadow band not only english it's shadow band as well okay what my is shadow youtube band? shadow band matlab because of your past actions they kind of uh, kind of not blacklist but they don't uh, uh, like like you that much okay so i have noticed that a lot my videos don't get unique viewers at all whoever okay. is watching my videos is my subscribers are my subscribers hmm. okay i'm not getting ads 
Seattle what, metal like youtube has shadow banned you like youtube is biased negatively it's biased not, towards your it's channel it's not biased it is just that uh, one thing as i was inactive so that kills your channel's momentum as well but when you go to the analytics there's a page called uh, your unique unique views or something like that or mm-hmm. recommended uh, thing my mine is very low even if i make like the best uh, titled videos and everything mm-hmm. my seo score is high and all that but that's fine i wanted to start a hindi channel in 2017 again beer biceps he told me that start a hindi channel when geo came right he messaged mm-hmm. me saying that start, it is the right time to you know start but i didn't care you know i was like uh, no i'm not interested right but mm-hmm. that that hindi channel and uh, the ads that are on youtube are mainly in hindi mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. your videos uh, more ads will be shown but mainly i want to do it because i want to reach a wider audience and uh, yeah. people comment saying that hindi mein video banao hindi mein video banao mm, right yeah so now uh, before we end this uh, this is the new new section mm. that uh, i've added okay. like a rapid fire thing i found it very hard to you know uh, uh, write down some good questions but uh, since this is the first time mm. uh, forgive me it will be very boring but i'll definitely <laughs> ask you some uh, questions so the first uh, a uh, question okay i'll make it all interesting i'll uh, sit like karan johar and I'll, are are you ready yeah. are you excited <laughs> you'll, oh absolutely you'll, i'm sorry i just i hope i don't fuck it up this is your uh, hamper multivitamin you'll get a multivitamin as a hamper i will send it to you in when i come to bangalore awesome. i'll come to bangalore in may we'll definitely catch up definitely yeah. man let me know yeah, yeah. yeah. by the way guys we haven't met so all the conversations that we've done is through this and phone calls in the past yeah so anyway first question work out in your own gym or work out in a commercial gym commercial gym why why not home gym uh i actually assembled this basic bench and some plates 20 kg 10 kg 25 kg and a barbell but i was actually at home I, it doesn't work for me at home when i'm in a zone the gym zone everything around me th- that environment matters for me yeah yeah you don't get the yeah. josh right inside inside your home no right yeah and plus you get keep getting distracted with thoughts because thoughts also actually change themselves according to your environment hmm. the pattern of your thought changes according to environment hmm. and hmm. that is also like very important for me at home i'll keep thinking about business hmm. clients i'll reply to my clients correct in between i'll come to my laptop start editing content in between <laughs> it's not good yeah okay so the next question is what's more important as a coach theoretical knowledge or problem solving ability if you had to choose one what would you choose in a coach definitely problem solving ability correct i definitely Without agree a doubt. i definitely agree because yeah. the more you coach people you realize that what you what and all you have learned it's used less and less mm. what you are using is how much how you can respond and be patient with what they are telling and, right right and right. give them a solution yeah. so that's definitely yeah. so you know uh, you don't have to be like mm. a nerd to you know become a good coach that at least that's what definitely i think definitely not okay during a cut would you rather do more cardio or eat less calories um depends on how much body fat i have at that point of time but as i get leaner and leaner i'll keep adding more and more uh, li- um steps and uh, the ca- type of cardio which doesn't stresses me out okay so you- and still try to keep losing fat on the same food intake okay so you are more of a guy who likes not not just fo- yeah. focuses on burning more calories you know you're not like a cardio mm. like 45 minutes cardio 30 minutes cardio you're not like that right you just uh, no no i just yeah you like just it. go on walk keep working keep talking i just like cardio to become part of work and everything correct yeah. correct correct so next question is one thing you wish you had done when you started your youtube channel <laughs> and I started my YouTube channel. I what would I have done? Okay, this is a very open-ended question. Till now, you are giving me options. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe. Okay, I'll I'll twist that question. Mm. One mistake yeah. you think you should have avoided when you started a YouTube channel? I think. I just I wouldn't even call that mistake. I just didn't have the awareness. Like, why didn't I start it in the college itself when I first thought that you know what, 
I am going to go into fitness. Why did like I that point occurred in 2016? I started the channel in 2019. Three years of me being in my head trying to figure things out. Correct. So, correct. yeah, just put yourself out there. You have to grind anyway. You are not gonna get glory in five months mm. or six months or even a year. Yeah. So you will learn with the process anyway. So put yourself out as soon as possible. I think that. Okay. Next yeah. question is again. It might not have a proper answer, but flexible dieting or eat the same thing every single day. So I'm a big fan of flexible dieting mm. because I love food. Mm. I don't like to miss out on food. When I'm in Delhi, I want to have the best butter chicken, mm. Mm. right? When I'm in, when I'm going south, I want to enjoy the food of that city. Mm. 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 So, but when I'm at home, which I am most of the time, ninety percent of the days are routine days. Mm. right mm. so i like to repeat my meals on my routine days okay. so i literally have every day my lunch is scrambled eggs mm. bread and some fruit mm. and i ask my mate to just cook the same thing every day same style mm. same quantity mm. i don't want to take decisions every day mm. i just set it and i forget it every night there is some sort of dry chicken mm. some sort of roti paratha veggies cut into salad or sorted mm. so and i have... just want it to repeat so you yeah. like a routine with everything right most things definitely but i i'm open to breaking the rules any time when it is worth it okay <laughs> that when i meet you definitely you have to break the routine <laughs> would you rather yeah, stay sure. lean would you rather stay lean and have abs all the time or build muscle fast but gain a bit of fat what physique do you prefer would you prefer right now to have right now definitely my goal is to build muscle and be comfortable with whatever fat gain happens in the process while minimizing the fat gain because i have made the mistake of gaining mm. excess unnecessary fat before so i hope i have learned from my so, so your ideal <laughs> physique is like you know what what would be your ideal physique that you just want to maintain you know uh, for you know for the rest of your life what kind of physique mm. do you prefer i i would say i want to put see that is this is for sure i'm going to stay natural that mm. i have decided Definitely. i'm going to stay natural because i'm a recreation lifter mm. right i just want to live this fitness lifestyle educate other people and build my own physique mm. in the process mm. so if i am natural then it's very simple i want to build as much muscle as possible mm. as as much as muscle as my genetic potential allows wow. now no that will take time that will take years under my belt i do not have years under my belt so i'll probably always keep striving for that extra pound of muscle mm. even when i'm 40 mm. 45 understood so i I think it is this graph. It will keep approaching hmm. um, the genetic potential hmm. and just keep enjoying that graph. All right, all right, all right. So that's yeah. that's uh, that's a good thing, and that that that's why that's why I said you know that uh, series. Tip, like you'll thank me later, but you do you 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 need to understand that people want mm. more than. they want to see you bro they want to see what you are mm. uh, going out and yeah. maybe showing all the things that you do when you are leading a fitness mm. lifestyle and i've realized that because my brother recently was watching my video i just asked him i want he watches it on a big tv okay so i told him i want to see how the quality of my video looks on your tv he was for mm. one minute and he's like i'm not interested in this like he just turned it off because i was just uh, you know i was talking about some natural bodybuilding show or something okay so he was like i'm not interested mm. in this so i just realized that to reach a wider audience and like you said you want to inspire people into getting into this lifestyle right yeah. you want to show mm. what kind of a lifestyle we actually lead because it's kind of a we yeah. have a kind of people believe that we are like we have a plate of food here and that is the only thing that we mm. eat right see this all this diet coke wala yeah. thing people don't know this that that, that you know we mm. are allowed to drink this so i just feel that that is right. at least my thing from once i'm like uh, close to once i come to bangalore in may i'll stay there for a month i'll be mm. uh, training uh, a friend there and he will be training me he's competing in this uh, bodybuilding show so i'm going to awesome. stay there and then i'm going to start my uh, this fat loss series because that is the only way mm. i feel people are going to uh, relate to you okay because yeah. this information there's enough information on the internet mm. that is my personal belief and uh, you, i totally agree with that yeah, man yeah there's so much information and fat loss mm. the whole coaching thing most of the people need coaching because they need accountability and that's that's where it ends you know they they mm. when you tell them do this do that they ah mujhe already ye pata hai but i need uh, the accountability thing mm. right someone to hold my head or hold my hand mm. so that is that but Yeah, bro. Like I definitely, you know, uh, enjoyed it, and uh, 
i will definitely meet you uh, we i want to meet you uh, when i come to bang maybe we can do like a video together uh, in hindi for definitely, my hindi man. channel uh, because uh, yeah for sure yeah so that is what yeah. uh, i want to do where where do you stay in bangalore i am in whitefield whitefield okay that uh, full technological area right it area i yeah, i am like uh, a little away from the it area okay yeah. okay but nice. Yeah, it's a very cool year, man. I love it. <laughs> nice. So currently, like, are you like uh, happy with everything that you're doing? Are you like uh, uh, yeah, comfortable definitely. with what you're doing? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Of course, I am. There to improve upon. There is always growth that needs to be unlocked, and you are always in that, you know, reaching for it stage. What to do? Figuring out how to you know break that barrier. Mm. That is there. The grind is there, but I am definitely. the happiest i have ever been in my life good to hear and i am very much at peace with what i am doing good good and i just want to keep improving upon it keep putting in the iterations and keep just getting better and better by good better. man good like don't yeah. don't ever uh, change your uh, belief system you know there will be lot of uh, uh, what do you call what is the word yeah. temptations in this field you know to you know just right. uh, take mm-hmm. shortcuts and promote things that you know are not uh, that great and all that so i uh, you know people yeah people, yeah people respect you a lot i got lot of uh, comments saying bring hypertrophy and you know like that <laughs> so you know people uh, have a lot of respect for you and i just uh, mm-hmm. want, because there is a very limited number of people uh, today who you know are uh, like that mm. so in that way you know i appreciate mm-hmm. that and uh, and yeah bro like come um, uh, you guys can subscribe to hypertrophy if you are haven't which is uh, uh, wrong in a big way but uh, do subscribe to him and then also subscribe to me i also need uh, some subscribers and uh, subscribe guys yeah subscribe and like both the, of the channel subscribe yeah, yeah both subscribe karo we will definitely make a video together uh, in may or when i went go to bangalore yeah uh, and uh, I people tell me इसके साथ collab करो उसके साथ collab करो but I don't know these mm. people but at least I know you right so I want to collab with mm-hmm. people who I have a small connection with so definitely इसके साथ collab तो होगा but uh, yeah bro thanks a lot for joining and uh, uh, my pleasure man thanks for having me no no problem dude you 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 had to be here and uh, yeah so <laughs> you guys can uh, you know he's a coach as well if you want. coaching uh, we both yeah. do coaching you can go do, do his coaching or you do my coaching that's fine uh, but uh, then his youtube channel uh, go and tell him to do a muscle building uh, series okay i want to see him uh, get big and uh, then definitely doing it definitely yeah, yeah. and then uh, follow him on instagram he has a very good instagram page where he uh, says it how it is every week there will be a post telling you that you know <laughs> you need to you know get up and do something you know like that <laughs> i'll and, try to post more of it yeah yeah definitely so yeah man thanks a lot uh, and uh, you know uh, i enjoyed it i this is i think going to be my longest uh, podcast so far if i'm not wrong so oh, i'm glad yeah, yeah so <laughs> loved I, it man yeah I, i actually you know i i thought you know it it won't be as long but uh, it was long and i'm glad so mm. yeah thanks a lot for watching guys uh, like comment subscribe Thank you so much guys. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you to Sid for uh, coming on the podcast as well. See you again guys. Peace.